first time recording a video for you guys, so here we go. Um, I'm just gonna go through really quickly um, the results that I have. I'm gonna hold them up so you guys can see each of them. Um, I didn't go through and count any of them, uh, any of the colonies of bacteria, um, but hopefully you guys can get an idea of, of everything that we looked at. So um, let's start. <clears throat> Let's start. Hello kids, this is your teacher. Very first video, um, I'll try and post more. I'd also like to do some um, Google Meetups and um, I'd very much like to continue staying in contact on Google Classroom and I'll try and get computers to those of you who need them. So um, if you haven't already answered the question in Google Classroom under classwork, uh, please go ahead and answer that as soon as this ends, okay? Um, let's go through and let's look at some of these uh, things that we swabbed on Friday before um, school was let out. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start by just going through um, one of the less dirty items. So, um, I mean, everything is covered in bacteria. So um, first off, let's look at the PE towel. Um, so it is a little bit hard to see. Uh, you can see on this side. Um, what all was on the PE towel. So lots of dark spots, lots of orange spots. I think if I did this experiment again, I, I probably wouldn't have um, <clears throat> written on the top. I probably would write on the bottom. Um, but again, always trying to improve. Um, there's quite a few little spots on here. So um, there's a long line of orange spots here. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dark spots. And then there's a bunch of smaller uh, white spots on here. So um, lots of things, uh, even though it's just a PE towel. All right, let's look at uh, the hairline. <laughs> um, the hairline, uh, this one took a while to for anything to grow up, but eventually, uh, grow on it, but eventually we did get a bunch of things. So a bunch of different colors on there. Um, if you look, you can see um, the color's a little better on this side, so a bunch of stuff on there. Lots of bright orange, bright yellow. Um, we've got, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, bright yellow. Um, like four black spots, a bunch of little white spots, and then uh, 1, 2, 3 orange spots. So that's the hairline, um, and that's probably pretty clean area, you know, uh, as far as the things that we swapped, that's probably one of the cleaner things. Um, let's look at the dollar bill and compare it to the coin. All right, so um, you guys were nice enough to lend a dollar bill uh, and a coin, um, and both of these things are really great looking. They came out wonderful. Um, so let's look at the coin. Now let's look at the dollar bill first. All right, so the dollar bill, there's like a very, very large uh, black spot up here. We've got some dark spots, um, some yellow mixed in there. Um, so there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 um, smaller little colonies on here. And then we have this one really, really large spot growing. So this is all off of a dollar bill. <laughs> um, so I know they're saying right now uh, using a card is better than, than using uh, paper money because you don't know where that money has gone. Um, this might be part of the reason why. So that's the dollar bill. Let's look at the coin. So um, I think the bacteria on this one is really interesting looking because it's got this spot right here. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, it's like it's like got a lighter border around it, and then it has this dark spot, and then it has an orange spot in the middle. So that's that's pretty nuts. Uh, we've got some other white spots. There's like some fluffy white stuff growing right here. <laughs> so we did get a lot on the coin. Um, maybe even more so. Uh, I would say the dollar bill 
probably has a greater spread of bacteria, but the coin looks like it has some more colonies of bacteria. So, <clears throat> all right, let's look at <clears throat> stuff in the classroom that uh, you guys touch. So we'll look at first the phone mouthpiece, and then um, we'll look at the fridge handle, which is what I touch uh, the most. Um, so here's the phone mouthpiece. So you guys can see there's uh, there's some black dots in there. We've got some orange, that's orange. Um, there's, you know, a yellow one up there in the corner, if you guys can see that one. Um, so there's a bunch of stuff on the mouthpiece of the phone, including this this big bad boy up there. So, <laughs> um, phone is, is pretty, pretty icky. I, I will make a note of that to clean that uh, more often. Um, even though I think not that many students answer it, it's usually just the ones in the back. Um, but honestly, this one, not, not too much compared to the other thing. So it's not that bad, still, still bad. But again, just wait till you see the hands without sanitizer. <laughs> All right, here's the fridge door handle. So uh, again, this one, I think actually might have the least amount of stuff on it. Um, really only touched by me and not really that often. Um, things just kind of hang out in the fridge. I maybe touch it a few times a week when I bring food to school, but um, as my fourth period knows, I am known to order Chipotle instead of bring my lunch like a responsible adult. So fridge door handle. Uh, again, I would probably uh, love to, in the future, right on the bottom, would have been better. Um, I'll remember that for next year. Maybe we can do this again uh, when class is in session again. We'll wipe everything down and, and we can compare it. Um, all right, let's look at <clears throat> phone jail. Oh, how many miss phone jail? All right, <laughs> phone jail, uh, real icky stuff. So there's a, there's a lot of colonies in uh, phone jail, a lot of them. There are colonies on colonies. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a big white spot and lots of little black spots inside. Um, it's, it's a lot. There's some bright orange in there, some bright yellow. Um, so again, another area I should probably spray down with Lysol, but you know, bacteria is on everything all the time, all right? Uh, let's look at the chairs and tables, and then we'll look at keyboards. Uh, all right, so let's look at this uh, student table. Um, so uh, one of my kids, uh, I think it was third period, maybe Anakin, went around and, and, and swabbed all of the tables for you guys. Uh, so <laughs> not just one table, but all of the tables got swabbed. Uh, so, and this is, this is what we found on it. So there's a lot of different colonies growing on here. We have this, this orange one, a um, bunch of little black uh, spots here. There's a lot of yellow in there. Um, again, there's, looks like colonies in colonies. Um, there's all of this, which looks like a big water spot on the top of it, but it's actually just one ginormous colony of bacteria growing. So again, a lot of bacteria. and I actually, uh, the week we left school, I was cleaning those tables like crazy. So the tables were clean, um, but yeah, still bacteria on them. Um, even if I was cleaning them between uh, classes and at lunch and that kind of stuff. All right, um, these are the chairs. We only did one chair. So I did put chairs plural, but we actually only did one chair. Um, we did the, if I was standing in the front, it's the, the right front row, and it's the first chair that would be closest to me if I was standing in the front of the room. Um, so we've got um, a bunch of little spots here too. So we've got you know this dark spot, white spot, there's orange here. Um, there's this stuff which just looks like it's just growing out like almost like little vines. I don't know if you can see it from this side. Right here, just kind of growing out like little vines. Um, so lots of icky stuff in there as well. <laughs> um, yeah, but this stuff came out really good. I don't know if you can see this one right here. Very, very pretty. <laughs> Even though it's bacteria and it's gross. <laughs> All right, let's look at the Chromebook keyboard. Um, definitely gonna be spraying these down. Uh, so we did computer number 21, uh, but remember they're probably all, uh, they're all this way, so um, here we go, we've got 
has some very, very bright orange spots here. That, that's actually colonies of bacteria. Um, some more orange spots up there. We've got uh, yellow here in the corner. We have a lot of black spots. Um, again, those white fluffy little bacteria looking things. Um, lots of stuff on this guy. So lots of stuff here on the, on the Chromebook. <laughs> Chromebook is, is definitely, Chromebooks are getting cleaned uh, when we get back. Chromebooks are getting cleaned. All right, um, I'm gonna save my hands for last just because um, I thought <laughs> it was a very good idea to the student who said we should do uh, before and after hand sanitizer. So I'm gonna save it for last. Um, let's look at, let's see. I'm gonna look at the student who let me do their fingernails. Uh, we'll look at the cell phone and we'll look at the bottom of the, of the shoe. Um, <clears throat> all right, so I'm gonna do fingernails first and then we'll do cell phone and then I'll do shoe bottom. Um, so fingernails, I uh, was not that surprised. It is a lot of stuff growing on here though. So lots of orange, lots of yellow, um, you know, lots of, other random little colonies living on here. So there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, so these are, I, I mean, we actually got underneath this this guy's fingernails here. So thank you, Danny. Um, so lots of stuff growing on that. Um, and again, this would be under any, any typical student's uh, fingernails. This is not just, you know, that student. It's it's all of us. Uh, our fingernails harbor bacteria, so um, getting under there to swab was a, a great idea. So, all right, uh, let's look at the cell phone. Um, not too bad. I think uh, I think Ms. Jada might clean her phone. <laughs> uh, but we've got a lot of of orange up here growing. Um, so there's a lot of black spots here. There's some white. Um, there's yellow growing in here. Um, more yellow. Uh, so yeah, there is some gross stuff happening on this phone, uh, but not any more gross than probably any of our cell phones. And I did not swap my phone, but I'm gonna go ahead and expect my phone would be just as bad, if not worse, because I hardly ever sanitize it. All right, now the bottom of the shoe, this one actually grew the fastest. So uh, I think it, within 24 hours, I already had like this layer um, which might be, I think it was Zulema and Hiro that, that did the swabbing on this one. Um, and I, I, she did a really good job. So it, it could have been just that she, she really did a good job at getting that back to bacteria transferred. Um, but also the bottom of shoes are super, super icky, which is why a lot of people take them off inside homes. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to show you this. It's, it's a lot of little tiny colonies of bacteria and a lot of orange. Okay. Um, which in that one video we saw, we saw, he said orange and yellow was indicative of a uh, fecal matter. So icky, icky, but that stuff is everywhere. So that's why we have to wash our hands. Um, so here's the bottom of the shoe. So it looks like one large colony, but if you look really close, you can see it's a lot of little teeny tiny colonies. So this one probably has the most, the highest number of colonies, but they're the smallest colonies, okay? So if we look back here, again, it's a whole lot of tiny little dots. Uh, thank you, Hiro, for letting us swab your shoe. <laughs> All right. Now let's let's look at we're gonna look at three things um, that you guys all touch whenever you uh, ask to use the restroom. So we're gonna look at the uh, uh, water fountain, which I know a lot of us stop at. Uh, we'll look at that one last as a great idea. Six period. Um, we're gonna look at the bathroom pass first and the outside door handle. Um, so my lovely little bathroom pass that's like a seal. Um, <laughs> had all kinds of stuff growing on it. So has uh, this really, really, really large colony right here. Uh, some smaller colonies, got some orange on there, uh, bright orange right here, some yellow. Um, so lots of stuff growing on the bathroom pass. Um, so I'm hoping everybody wash their hands. Um, all right, now let's look at the outside door handle. Outside door handle had a lot of stuff growing on it. To be honest, this was a little bit surprising to me. I thought it would have less things growing on it because I would hope that we all washed our hands. But again, this is probably not an area that is sanitized uh, that often. And it probably, even if it is sanitized, it's gonna get dirty really, really quick. So uh, here's what we found on the door handle. So again, 
lots of yellow, lots of orange, some dark spots in there, uh, some white spots growing. Um, if you look on this side, you can see it's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. All right, uh, let's look at the water fountain and then we're gonna look at my hands before and after sanitizer. So, um, <clears throat> Water fountain, just like the bottom of that shoe, uh, grew pretty quickly, not as quickly as the shoe bottom. Um, and it has a lot of little, little tiny colonies um, that grew on here. So first let's look at the side so we can just see there's a lot of little colonies that are growing on here. Um, a lot of white. If you look on this side, you can see there's a lot of, there's a lot of orange in there, a lot of yellow in there. Um, so that was, there was a lot on the door handle. On the, I'm sorry, on the water fountain. Um, and uh, good idea, uh, six period for this one, because I, I wouldn't have thought about that. So that was a good, a good one, good call. All right, let's look at my hands before and after sanitizer. Um, I don't even know <laughs> what to make of this. Okay, so we're gonna look at my hands before sanitizer first. Uh, so. Here's before sanitizer, not that surprising, uh, not too different from uh, underneath Danny's hands. I know we did get my fingernails a little bit too on this, so um, there's a lot on here. There's a lot of yellow, there's a lot of, there's some orange down there, uh, there's yellow right here. I mean, it's like a rainbow. Um, very, very gross rainbow though. So now let's look at my hands after sanitizer. <clears throat> Remember, it kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Um, so uh, here is after sanitizer. I'm gonna hold up before sanitizer too. So here's after, here's before. Not very different. Still pretty gross. It's freaking me out. Uh, so uh, not as much orange on this. I will say it did take away a lot of the orange. There's still some orange, so you can see that's bright orange spot. Um, there's still some yellow. There's some, I think, maybe about the same amount of yellow. Uh, less of the black and the white spot. So there is less on here, <laughs> but still a lot. So um, I want you guys to keep that in mind. Uh, hand sanitizer, yes. Uh, you know, if you have it and you come back from the bathroom and you've already you washed your hands in the bathroom, then by all means you should use it, um, but it should not be thought of as a replacement for washing your hands, okay? All right, um, last thing. If, again, if you have not answered the question under the classwork tab about needing a computer, um, I would very much like you to go in and do that right now. So, uh, you know, as soon as this video is over, um, just go ahead and, and head on over to the classwork tab and, um, and do your stuff. Um, aside from that, I really do miss you guys. Uh, it's been, it's been pretty boring over here, um, to be honest. Uh, I think I've been keeping up with some of my kids through classroom. Um, feel free to, you know, post in there uh, as long as it's, you know, school appropriate. And I'll try and respond, uh, maybe not to all of them, but I am there. I am there. I am trying my best to uh, keep my spirits up. And I hope all of you guys are too. Um, you know, uh, try and just, you know, even if you could just sit outside, just do that for a little bit. Um, you know, watch Netflix, uh, if you can, you know, I, I've been seeing these push-up challenges, do 10 push-ups, um, try and stay a little active, um, play with your dogs, ask your mom to teach you to cook, I don't know, or dad, sometimes dads are better <laughs> cooks than moms, um, maybe an older brother or sister, uh, I don't know. Uh, anyways, let me know what you've been up to, if you've learned any new skills, if you're keeping a diary, I don't know. Um, and uh, I miss and I love you guys very much and I can't wait to be back at school and not under the threat of Corona.